class, this is Mamado. Welcome to Mamado Classroom. Our topic for today is about equivalent fractions. Okay class, equivalent fractions are fractions that name the same amount. So we have here 1, 1 half, and 2 fourths. So they are the same. So there are also other techniques in order to know if a fraction are the same or not. What is that? I mean of cross multiplication. We just multiply the numerator by the denominator. So 1 times 4 is 1 times 4 is what? 4. And another one is 2 times 2 is also 4. Therefore, we can say that this fraction are equivalent or equal. There are two ways of creating equivalent fractions. First is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. Second one is to divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. It has to be a common factor to work with division. First is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number. So we have 2 fifths. We can choose any number to multiply. Let's multiply by 3. So 2 times 3 is 6. And 5 times 3 is 15. So 2 fifths is equivalent to 6 over 15. Okay, I have uh, an example here, a conclusion graph. So one example is one half equals two, three, six. So as we can see, one half, it was multiplied by three. One times three is three and three times two is six. Another one is one third. So, it was multiplied by 2. 2 times 1 is 2 and 3 times 2 is 6. Another example is 3 fourths and 1 eight. So, 3 fourths is also equivalent to 6 over 8. And 1 eight is also equivalent to 2 over 16. Another example is 1 fourth. So 1 fourth, it was multiplied by 3. That's why 3 times uh, 1 is 3 and 3 times 4 is 12. This one, 5 over 6 is equivalent to 10 over 12. So 5 uh, was multiplied by 2. 5 times 2 is 10 and 6 times is 12. Okay, I want you to uh, do your own example. Okay, so let us see. 1, 7, you multiplied it by 2. That's why 1 times 2 is 2 and uh, 2 times 7 is 14. Another example, you have 1, 6. Okay, you multiply it by 2, 1 times 2 is 2, and 2 times 6 is 12. Therefore, multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number to create equivalent fractions. Okay, second way is to divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. Example, 6 over 15. 
example, it can be divided by E. Divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. It has to be a common factor to work with division. So, 6 divided by 3 is 2. 15 divided by 3 is 5. Okay class, if you have a larger numbers, you can make equivalent fraction using division divide by common factor. For example, 25 over 45. We can divide it by 5. How? How did we arrive at the divisor of 5? Of course, we need to get the common factor for so, what is the common factor for 25 and 45? So, we have uh, 25. We have 25. 25 and 45. The common factor for this number is 5. 25 divided by 5 is 5. 45 divided by 5 is 9. So the GCF is 5. So that's why we use 5 as the divisor. So divide the numerator and denominator by the same number. It has to be a common factor to work with division. So the common factor is 5. That's why we need to divide 25 by 5. So, 25 divided by 5 is 5. And 45 divided by 5 is 9. So, in this example, we can divide both number by 5. And we can say that 25 is equivalent to 5 over 9. So, I want you to try this class. So, we have 1 fourth, 1 half, 2 fifths, 3 fourths, and 1 third. I will give you time to think and solve the problem. Your time starts now. Okay, class, let's check your work. Let us see. Number 1, you have 1 fourth times 2 so 1 times 2 is 2 and 1 4 times 2 is 8 therefore 2 8 is equivalent to 1 fourth very good 1 half times 3 is 3 and 2 times 3 is 6 ok correct 2 here you multiply it by 2 2 times 2 is 4 and 5 times 2 is 10. Very good. So this one is a bigger number. We need to divide it by both 12. So 36 divided by 12 is 3. 48 divided by 12 is 4. So this one is 20 over 30. We divide it by 10. So you get uh, 2. And 30 divided by 10 is 3. How did we arrive at... How did we get this 12? So we just get the GCF. So 36 and 48. So the GCF for the 48 is, we use the ladder method, 6. six uh, 36 divided by 6 is 6 and 48 divided by 6 is 8. Then we can still get uh, the common factor. For 6 and 8, that is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. And 8 divided by 2 is 4. So the GCF is 
6 and 2 so 6 times 2 is 12 so that's why we use 12 as the divisor here this one 30 over 20 so turn 20 and 30 so we have what is the common factor factor for 20 and 30 5 so 5 we have 4 and we have 6 now the common factor for 4 and 6 is 2 so 2 and 3 so the GCF is the GCF is what 10 that is 5 times 2 is equals to 10 that's why you have this one 10 okay very good okay class I want you to keep in mind equivalent fractions are fractions that name the same amount and the two methods or the two way to create an equivalent fraction is first to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number second way is to multiply the numerator and denominator by the same number if you have a larger numbers you can make equivalent fractions using division divide by a common factor Okay class, I hope you learned something today. This is Mamado. Thank you and see you on our next lesson. Bye!